plant identification apps. There has been a plethora of apps that have come out trying to help people identify the plants and trees that they see around them. So I thought I would take a look at what is available and let you know what I think is the best. I've been using a app called Garden Compass for about a year or two now. I have downloaded six additional plant apps. Picture this, Plant Snap, Seek, iFlenzen, Flower Checker, and plant nets. And then there's also the Google app. Open the Google app, then see this little icon, you click there. Let's see if it sees that. It's that plant. Can I click on it? Cariota. That is correct. So that's my fishtail palm. That's pretty cool. What's this? Oh, the pot? Let's see. Similar products. Look at that. It's recognized the pot that I have the fishtail palm in, and it's giving me options to buy one like that, which is um, broken up into different price ranges. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Gosh, Google's awesome. Let's check that out on the road as well and see if it can get pretty specific about species. Get a wide photo, Let's get another closer up one of the foliage. With a lot of these ones, it's helpful to add a wide photo and a close up photo. Okay, now we're gonna go to picture this. Let's see. Tahitian screw pine. Do you think that's what it is? I don't know. This doesn't seem right to me. Let's try another app Plant Snap. Let's check it out. Okay, done. Pandanus tectorius. It also says Tahitian screw pine. Let's try Seek by iNaturalist. Told me to always be aware of my surroundings because it's like a National Geographic app, so they probably think I'm like up in the Andes Mountains or something. Beware of mountain goats. We believe this is a member of the class Monocots, but Seek couldn't identify the exact species. Now for flower checker, which remember is the other one that will take a while, so we have to submit. It allows me to just choose a picture from my roll, so I'll choose one that I had taken for the next, for the, one of the earlier photos. So send request. You can see that my tropical milkweed um, request is still processing. It's been much longer than an hour, so that's interesting because they claim that most of the requests are responded to within an hour. Moving on, let's go to plant net. Plant not found. Okay, so there you go. Plant net didn't know. And finally, Google Lens. I wonder if I aim it at Rooney, if it'll be like, Rooney. Wolf dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rooney, I love you. Google might have actually nailed this better than anyone else because look at this. Look at that picture. That's pretty, that's pretty accurate. So, um, guys. <laughs> You might not even need a fancy plant app. All right, let's go try some more here and see if uh, we get the same results. I like this one a lot. I might already know what it is, so <laughs> it will be fun to test the apps and see. Garden compass, been sent to the experts. Okay, moving on. Picture this, big blue lily turf. That's correct. Score for picture of this. Plant snap. Carex moroi. What is that? Nope, actually that's not it. But they had some other options and it, the first option that they had was the correct answer. The Lyriope muscari, the big blue lily turf. So I'm gonna say it's that one. I clicked on that. Um, it's telling me I can buy this on Amazon for $35 if I want to do that. Okay, Seek by iNaturalist. Respect other living things by not harassing or touching them. Some may sting or bite. Well, we know that well because we just got eaten alive by mosquitoes. So, Lirio, boom. So, this uh, Seek by iNaturalist worked beautifully. Flower Checker, 
almost like, ugh, I don't want to even use flower checker because it's like, why spend the money on this and wait? Plant net, Lirio Mascari, good job. Okay, so plant net got that right. Let's see what Google has to say about this. Well, now this one says it's Liriope spicata, which is a different variety. It could be either based on these photos. Rooney's best friend lives over there. <laughs> so she's making weird noises. She's like, woo, 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 woo. Now Garden Compass, you get a monthly subscription to, and I think it's $4 a month, $3.99 maybe. And that gives you unlimited uploads. Not only can you upload plant pictures, but you can also upload pictures of pests or diseases. This app has provided me with very accurate information every single time. The downsides being that sometimes they say, I'm sorry, that wasn't enough information, or can you send another picture? It's an actual person who responds. They're botanists. So you really do get an expert opinion when you use this app. Flower Checker is very similar to Garden Compass. It employs botanists. I did take this maybe about 45 minutes ago, and I haven't gotten any answer yet. It says processing. I had to sign up for the seven day free trial on Flower Checker, after which point I start getting charged $30 a month. So, <laughs> I, uh, I need to make sure I pay attention so I can unsubscribe from this. On picture this, you have a camera and you take a picture of whatever plant it is and immediately picture this gave me the proper answer. With Plant Snap, you also take a picture and you're supposed to get an immediate response. I did get an immediate response, it wasn't correct. And I've heard that Plant Snap is a lot of people's preferred app and that might have to do with the fact that it's free. However, they do advertise to you constantly that you could upgrade to premium for something like $20 a month and that's a little annoying. So I didn't really like Plant Snap. Not accurate and a lot of advertising. Seek also has the camera function. I took a picture of my tropical milkweed and boom, I got a confirmation that that was the correct plant. Seek is from iNaturalist. It's a project that National Geographic worked on. So you have a lot more options in here to build that sort of library and, and build those environments and learn more than just the plants. Iflanzin, this one is interesting because you don't identify it through taking a picture. It has a list of different characteristics. So first it starts out with plant type and then you start getting more specific. So you choose what the leaf arrangement is. It actually has little illustrations that explain what that means. Is it solid? Is it serrated? Leaf shape? Flower color? What month does it flower in? Number of petals? M multiple blossom colors? It has about 20 different things that you can specify. And then it comes up with a short list of matching plants. Unfortunately, the three plants that came up when I put all the characteristics in were not, none of them were the tropical milkweed. That was a little bit of a disappointment. What I do like about this is that it encourages people to identify plants on their own and it gives them knowledge along the way to be able to do that in the future. The potential of this app is pretty awesome because it's educational. Plant Net was the last one that I downloaded. I took a picture and it identified it immediately as the uh, tropical milkweed. I don't think all of these plant ID apps are created equal. However, I can make a strong case for arming yourself with at least two different kinds of them. I'm going to put them into two categories. First, we have Garden Compass and also Flower Checker. That's the first category and those are the apps that let you upload a picture for an actual expert to review and respond to. And both of those apps offer you the ability to carry out a conversation with the botanist or expert so that you can ask follow-up questions, etc. And those are the ones that have a monthly subscription fee. The Flower Checker app is more expensive than the Garden Compass and I've had luck with Garden Compass over the past year or two. I haven't had enough experience with Flower Checker, but I can tell you that I haven't had a response back from their experts and it's been over the hour time that they advise they usually respond in. So sorry Flower Checker, I don't think you're gonna make it onto that list. Garden Compass, you're still my number one. As for the other types of apps, between Picture This, Plant Snap, Seek by iNaturalist, Plant Net, and then I'm gonna also lump in Google. 
Google Lens. Uh, I'd probably choose Picture This or Google Lens. So what I would do is get one of those and then also Garden Compass. Reason being that with Picture This or Google Lens, you can just get an immediate answer. And sometimes they're gonna have a higher level, a higher frequency of, of wrong answers basically. <laughs> but if you have both, you can also upload it to Garden Compass and check your answers. You're just going to have to wait and make sure. So there are my recommendations, guys. I haven't tried all the apps. Any of the apps that are made just for Android, I haven't tried them. You'll have to let me know if that's something that you use and if you like them. And as always, guys, thanks for tuning in. It's been a pleasure to hang out with you. If you found this useful, then please like and subscribe. It just nourishes me. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.